Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're going to be profiling a company by the name of Relic Health. This is a technology company in the telemedicine sector, and it's actually been requested by a number of viewers or subscribers in other video comment sections. Now I'm really excited to talk about this one. We're gonna jump into their investor presentation, talk about their business in a little bit more detail. But before we get into all that, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a huge help to both myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comments section below what you think of Relic Health, how you think it stacks up to some of the other players in the healthcare sector, and if you're currently holding shares. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a deeper look at Relic Health Technologies. Now this is a company that's in the telemedicine or healthcare space. We've covered a number of these type of penny stocks on the channel recently. And Relic is one that I've consistently seen in the comment section. People are requesting this stock to be covered, looking for more information, and generally just curious about this ticker. So I wanted to get this video out. As you can see here, trades on the TSX Venture under the ticker symbol RHT currently trading around 53 cents Canadian. It was flat. This is as of close on September 9th, so Friday of last week, sitting at a market cap of about $100 million. Now, very similar to a lot of the companies we've covered on the channel and really the market in general, Relic Health has been downtrending over the last six months. You can see at the start of April, this company was flirting with 90 cents Canadian. And since then, they've essentially cut their share price in half, again, which may be presenting a great buying opportunity if you're looking for exposure to the telemedicine or telehealth sector. Now what's interesting about Relic and we're gonna talk about in today's presentation is their unique IUGO Care platform. So this is a software solution that allows complex patients to actually receive care in the comfort of their own home. So this is really a focal point of this company. And again, something we're gonna discuss in a little bit more detail as we move into the investor presentation. Now, before we get into all that, there's one article that actually came out on the 7th of September. This was something that was left in one of the comment sections of a prior video, talking about Relic Health Technologies, actually announcing a new contract in the state of Florida to onboard over 50,000 patients. So if you look at the patient count under the Relic portfolio or umbrella, it really is quite astonishing, you guys, how quickly they've ramped up and the number of patient lives that they have within their ecosystem. So I wanted to quickly throw this out as a major catalyst, again, that just happened this month and was a major stepping stone or milestone for the team at Relic Health Technologies. And if you actually scroll down into the article, you can see they've onboarded 50,000 patients to that unique IUGO Care platform that's targeted by the end of 2023. And the CEO of Relic goes on to say, this is Dr. Lisa Crossley. We are very pleased to be working with our new client in Florida to improve the health outcomes and reduce healthcare costs for 50,000 Medicare patients with chronic conditions. So again, a company that you can feel good about investing in because it's making meaningful change in the lives of people suffering from these conditions. Relic will be providing the full suite of Iugo Care software along with care management services as needed and expects to generate an average revenue of $60 per patient per month at 75% gross margin. So you've got recurring revenue, you've got a huge audience or customer base here and extremely healthy, no pun intended, gross margins. Onboarding of these patients has already begun and is expected to be completed over the next five quarters. By the end of 2023, as mentioned, our Iugo Care platform is proven to reduce hospitalizations, improve patient quality of life, and generate significant new revenues for clinicians. Being selected by a large client like this is a testimony to the company's strong growing reputation as a leader in the virtual care space. And a lot of viewers or subscribers have actually made reference to the buyout possibilities here. This is a great buyout candidate by one of the big players, say an Amazon, for example, that's wanting to move into the telehealth or telemedicine space. So again, definitely think Relic is one to keep an eye on. Throw it on your watch list, you guys. And with that being said, now we're gonna move into the corporate website and the investor presentation. Now I'll leave a link to this website in the video description below, but if you go to the relichealth.com website, under what we do, you can see Relic's powerful Iugo Care software platform provides that virtual care system that supports care coordination and community-based healthcare. So again, taking the stress off our traditional brick and mortar healthcare facilities. 
Ayugo Care allows patients with complex care needs to receive high quality health care across the continuum of community settings. Our platform provides real-time access to remote patient monitoring data, allowing for timely interventions by the care team to prevent costly and disruptive health remissions and ER visits. Working with our clinicians, patients, and partners, Ayugo Care is improving health outcomes, enhancing the quality of life for our patients, their families, and reducing the cost of care delivery. And you can see they then go on to break down the product in a little bit more detail. So they've got a remote patient monitoring or RPM component, which again really acts as that early warning system. They've got CCM, which is chronic care management, telemedicine division, and their wound care, which actually allows patients to upload images of their wounds. And then the team at Relic Health can track the progress or healing of these wounds in real time. So again, cutting edge technology, really cool here, you guys, when you think of the traditional healthcare system and all of the new opportunities or optionality that's now available for patients. So now that we understand what Relic Health Technologies is all about, their unique platform and the software that they provide, the at-home solutions that they're looking to deliver, I wanted to jump into the investor presentation. This was updated in February of this year and give you guys a little bit more of a deep dive into the Relic business model. So the first slide I wanted to take a look at here, you guys, is a Relic Health Technologies intro. So again, it's a rapidly growing or high growth profitable telemedicine company that develops innovative virtual care or software as a service solutions for multi-billion dollar healthcare market. And we've talked about the TAM or total addressable market within the healthcare space in prior videos. This is a massive opportunity. Obviously the population around the world is aging and new solutions like this that are able to cut down on costs really do have a ton of potential in my personal opinion. So first and foremost, they've got their care platform, which is that Iugo platform that we talked about the benefits there, some of the different optionality for patients, clinicians, and payers. They've got comprehensive turnkey solutions, allowing these clinics to seamlessly roll out new billable virtual care services. They've got that recurring revenue from their subscription-based model, which we referenced in that big announcement that came out on the 7th. Again, recurring repeat revenue is absolutely such a valuable thing for companies like this. Rapid organic growth fueled by industry trends. So not only are they looking at exciting M&A opportunities, but also that strong internal organic growth. The margins, which we talked about, so gross margin in the neighborhood of 75%, and earnings margin or profit margin in the neighborhood of about 45% and expecting to uplist to the NASDAQ, so the United States Exchange, in the later part of this year. So again, a number of big catalysts on the horizon, especially that big uplist, which is a huge vote of confidence, really, for any of these penny stock type of companies. Now, in terms of some of the recent milestones, so this is in Q1 of calendar 2022. They signed a contract with Cognizant, which is a $45 billion Fortune 500 firm, allowing them to rapidly scale the support of clients of any size. They signed a contract with Datasoft Logic, which will add that 50,000 new patients to their platform, which is estimated to be about $36 million of revenue each year. And Medicare actually introduced five new billing codes in January of 2022 for remote monitoring of muscular, skeletal, and respiratory conditions, which expands Relic's target patient population by around 20 million individuals. So as Medicare introduces new billable codes, obviously that increases the total audience or the size of the addressable market for these telemedicine type of companies. And worth noting back in 2021, they signed a contract that provided a pipeline of 200,000 new patients, which are expected to be onboarded by the middle of next year at an average revenue of $40 US per patient per month, or about $120 million annually. So again, when I say the total pool of patients continues to grow, we're talking hundreds of thousands of individual patient lives. Now, this is a slide that we've seen replicated really in a lot of these telehealth or healthcare type of company investor presentations, talking about the current problem. So chronic diseases right now account for about 80% of all healthcare spending. They're very timely, they're very costly, they require a number of different patient visits and specialists so you can see COPD, diabetes, heart disease, asthma, arthritis, some of the most common chronic diseases. Healthcare costs in the United States, this is as of 2020, so they've actually gone up since then, are in the neighborhood of $4.1 trillion, you guys. And the problem with this is despite spending so much money, 
the outcomes of these health concerns really are quite poor. There's not a lot of optionality. Patients aren't happy with the solutions, and that's what's really creating this perfect opportunity for companies like Relic Health. Now, with that being said, this is where it gets really exciting for Relic Health Technologies, specifically their Ayugo Care platform. So again, this is a modular software solution and care management service, which allows clinicians to easily provide a wide range of virtual healthcare services to their at-risk patients. So again, providing new optionality with better or improved patient outcomes. So this includes things we've already discussed, like the remote patient monitoring, principal care management, telemedicine, the wound care system, which we talked about a little bit earlier, the chronic care management, behavioral health integration, and transitional care management. So addressing a number of these key focal points, again, where people are struggling to find compatible solutions in the current healthcare landscape. And one of the great or practical use cases of this Iugo platform is really for CHF, which stands for congestive heart failure. So this is a great example of what a patient's life looks like or the outcome with and without the Iugo Care platform. Now congestive heart failure is an episode of heart failure causing an increased fluid load and sudden weight gain of two or more pounds in 24 hours. So obviously very detrimental to the patient's health. Now without the Iugo Care platform, patients would forget to weigh themselves. They could perhaps forget their previous weight or not remember that they were supposed to call their weight into their doctor when they see that sudden increase. The fluid could continue to build up, causing lasting damage to the heart and potentially other organs. And after several additional days, the patient would notice chest pain or difficult breathing and would then have to be admitted to the ER or emergency room. Now the patient is admitted into the ICU for a week and that would cost in excess of $100,000 in the United States if this patient were to go through this series of events. Now, if you compare that to the outcome with Iugo Care, the patient's team would immediately receive an automated alert of the weight change in the patient's body. The physician would immediately call that change into the diuretic medication department, and the patient would stay healthy at home and receive that medication. So you can see this simple intervention at home can have a dramatic impact on the health outcome, the quality of life, and the cost associated on the healthcare system. And this is just one example of one condition that the Iugo platform is capable of addressing. And as a result, you can see the benefits of this Iugo care are vast and far reaching. So improved health outcomes, reduced hospitalizations, enhancing the quality of life for these individuals. On the provider side, it creates new revenue streams and avoids a lot of the financial penalties of leaving these conditions unattended to. And you can see in the comment below, the average practice is now gonna generate about $400 US per patient per month from payments originating through the implementation of the Iugo Care platform. And in terms of the cost to the clinics, they're gonna pay about 40 to $100 per patient. So you can see very good or healthy ratio for the average practice to implement this new care platform. And that's ultimately a perfect segue to this slide here, which talks about the revenue model or streams and the opportunity for Relic Health as an organization. So you can see there's approximately 50 million Medicare or Medicaid patients with chronic conditions in the United States. The subscription fee model we just talked about, which is great because of that recurring revenue nature. They've also got the clients, so skilled nursing facilities, health home agencies and physicians that work for them and the payers themselves, so Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurers, which really foot the bill for a lot of the management associated with these conditions. So the overall market for virtual care is estimated to be in the neighborhood of about $100 billion. And when you start to compare that to the market cap of some of these smaller up and coming telehealth organizations like Relic Health, the numbers and the multiples really do start to look quite attractive. Now, the final slide I wanted to leave you guys with is this one here, which shows the growth forecast over the next couple of years. So you you can see 2020 was really when they expanded into the United States. Revenue was in the neighborhood of about one and a half million dollars. 2021 was a focus on profitability. So they had a revenue run rate at the end of calendar year 2021 of two million dollars a month. 2022, we already talked about is the big NASDAQ uplisting event. They're expecting revenue in the neighborhood of about $40 million. 
2023 is going to be a shift in focus on big data with revenue in the neighborhood of 65 million. And by 2024, Relic Health is targeting a valuation in excess of $1 billion and revenues in excess of $120 million annually. So when I say a high growth healthcare focused company, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Again, for those reasons, you guys, I'd definitely be interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you currently holding shares of Relic? What do you think about their business model and how does this company stack up to some of the other penny stocks in the telemedicine or telehealth space we've talked about on the channel? If you're still watching at this point, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you hit the like button before you go. And if you're not currently subscribed, McNally Money, we'd love to have you as part of the community. Feel free to join and let me know your thoughts on my previous videos. With that being said, that's all for now. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.